Just wanting to understand why it's important for The Voice to be able to make representations to executive government. What happens every time there's a change of government, there's a change of minister and there's a, a new, even a new head of department, we all have to come back to Canberra and justify, explain who we are. Often we have to bring a map to show um, where we're coming from and talk to the government of the day and explain who we are and justify why they need to maintain the level of funding that we already have to run our organisations and our families and what our, what our needs are. And then we have to sit down and go painfully over everything all again. Some things they'll pick up, but mostly they won't. So we're going back to ground zero every single time there's an election or even a, a senior bureaucrat head of a department. So we have to, we're constantly trying to shore up, please, I'm not begging anymore. I am not begging anymore. Whatever happens, I'm not begging. So we have to go back and explain, justify who we are, for goodness sake, to every new government, to every new bureaucrat. But so they are the real decision makers. They, they decide, the bureaucrats of the day, how things are going to work and who they'll talk to and who they won't talk to. And that's why it has to be. Because if, it, if we, don't have that, we don't have that capacity to talk to them, well, there's not much left on the table, really, to be honest, in terms of practical application to where the needs, for goodness sake, to where the real needs are, because a lot of the money doesn't get to where the real needs are. And that's another reason why the voice is important. So we can get down. We have tremendous needs. A lot of money, you know better than me, is spent on us. It doesn't get down to where the real needs are. That's why we need to talk to the, to the government of the day as well as the parliament.